Well, the weather outside is frightful, but the snacks are sure delightful. I ain't got no place to go. Snack Wars Show, Snack Wars Show, Snack Wars Show. Ah, welcome, welcome. The holidays just put me in such a dapper mood, you guys. And uh, what's today's docket? Oh, does this give you any hints? Ooh. It's the best things to put in a stocking, huh? The best stocking stuffers, you know, that aren't, you know, uh, beard trimmers and shit like that, huh? Perfumes. So uh, we got a lot of little tasty delights in here. A little snack extravaganza, if you will. And we're going to go through it, huh? So let's, let's make some space here. I got my palate cleanser. All right, now, we got a lot of little treats in here, huh? And I don't know which one I'm going to get when. So we're just going to dip in wildly until we get through them all. I've got some round here. Oh, a Lindor truffle. Okay. I think this is just regular straight up flavor. Chocolate. Huh? I forget what's inside the regular Lindor. Is it more chocolate? I think it's just more chocolate. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm hmm Like a softer, not as solid as the outside chocolate. Hmm. Yeah, it's definitely, it's like a silkier chocolate, if you will, on the inside. Pretty good, but I'm not the biggest fan of chocolate, but you know, it is what it is, huh? We gotta start somewhere? We'll start at Lindor. Hmm? That's a very delicious chocolate. It's better than Hershey's? Huh? More shots fired. Yeah, get out of here, Hershey fans. Santa's up in your stocking. Stealing your shit. Kit Kat, gingerbread version, huh? Okay, interesting. Yeah, there's all sorts of flavors of Kit Kat, huh? They just keep cranking them out. Like, I really wanna get the, I wanna get some Japan ver variants, huh? Maybe one day I'll uh, order some online and get you a real Kit Kat show, huh? Maybe, huh? Oh, yeah, who knows? The, the year is young. Hmm. Mmm, okay. The ginger flavor didn't really hit me at first. Then it really started to kick in. I wonder if um, some of it is coming from the innards, you know, the between the Kit Kats, huh? Or if it's all from that outside shell. But, hmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. It's not too overpowering at all. It's a very nice, mellow gingerbread flavor. Everything you would want from a gingerbread, but, but with a Kit Kat. Mmm, huh? okay. This stocking is giving right now. Tis the season. Let's keep going, huh? Let's keep going. I wonder what we'll find. Oh, this is something big. Right, let's get this out of the way, huh? Let's clear up some space. Ugh. Hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Oh, pog. Y'all ever had one of Terry's chocolate oranges, huh? This is the original, too. No dark chocolate or none of that crap. Ooh, whack and unwrap, it says. Oh, dude. If y'all haven't had this, y'all better prepare. Woo! This is, oh, we're, we're coming out with the, with the heavy hitters right away, because this is the ideal shit to get in my damn stocking. If I don't have at least one of these bad boys looping around in there, I'll be upset. Terry's. Oh, 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 oh. Give it a little peel. Oh, snaps open. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, y'all ready for this? Look, even the outside, oh, I hope you can tell, it's got like a peel looking design on it, huh? Like a skin, if you will. I didn't give it a whack yet. Here, here, ready? Been naughty. You're on the naughty list. Yeah, should do it. Should do it. Look at here. Even the inside layers of this bad boy have little, like, orange designs on How the hell do they do that, huh? And get it to all stick together and not lose its... What? Black magic is this? Yeah, it's Terry's orange slices, bro. Deal with it. Mmm. Oh, oh, beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. And I don't even like chocolate, man. I'm not a chocolate dude, huh? Except for, you know, I'm not a chocolate dude. And uh, this is just magic, dude. Magic in a ball, huh? Magic 8-Ball's got his money coming. Like, you fucking, whoo! Time's up. I haven't even finished it. Ooh, I'm savoring it too much. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, let's put it way above the rest. <laughs> All right. 
Um, yeah, <clears throat> it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be quite a challenge to beat that, huh? But you know, we'll keep on checking, huh? We gotta go deeper. What's this little morsel? Oh, I wasn't expecting to find another Titan so quickly. I just saw. Whoa, maybe way to make me eat my words out here, huh? You th you thought Terry's was all what it was all about? Andy's has some shit too, huh? Mountain level flavor, huh? Look at that. They put mountains right on the light. You think that's just a quink, a quinky dink, huh? Mm mm. The flavor is mountainous. Let's see. I'm happy I just had that actually, because now I, I'll know for sure. Mmm. It's like the better York patty. Like, if York didn't have the slush, that slur that it has in there, mmm, mmm. It was just the flavor enhanced. Damn, dude, this is tough. Hmm. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna have to go with the idea of it being in the stocking, huh? These are stocking stuffers after all. Andes, you can get those year round. Nothing stuffs quite like these oranges, huh? So right below it, I'm gonna have to do it, huh? But wow, huh? Andes, yes, yes. I'm gonna turn you sideways so you have more of a presence out here, out of respect, huh? Okay, oh yeah, 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 yeah. What else we got? Another big box. I wanna get it out of the way, it's making a mess of it. Oh, okay. Now, any of y'all who saw last week's episode, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, y'all know how I feel about peppermint, huh? If not, go check it out. You can pause this and come back. I don't mind. I don't mind at all. Go ahead. But uh, for all y'all who are in the know, <laughs> yeah, y'all have a feeling this is going to be ranked in a certain place, huh? God damn it. God damn it. These damn soft peppermint stir sticks. That's what they're considered, right? Stir sticks, right? You're supposed to put them in the hot chocolate, mix it around, get some peppermint flavor. They dissolve a bit. Yeah, I guess. I guess you could do that. I guess I could dip it into my coffee and mix it around. Take a little suckles off the edge. That is an option. But you know, the best way to have them is to just crunch right in, man. Mmm. Mmm. Like, if you've ever had those little peppermint puffs, huh, that come in the 300 packs, <laughs> it's just like that, but just a little more compacted. So it's still just like fluffy and just, every bite it just melts between your teeth and it's peppermint ecstasy, all right? Mm-hmm. There, I said it. Mm. I went ahead and tried the coffee side, huh? So that's what I'm supposed to do. Mmm, mm. ma'am. Oh, oh no. Mmm. Still no orange, huh? You're still doing your thing out here, Terry. Go ahead, Terry. Go ahead. Damn, Terry. But, yeah, sorry, Andes. That mint is just, mmm, mmm. Spectacular. Huh? Spontiferous. Okay, cool. Now that we got all this big shit out of my stocking, all this bullshit out of the way, we can dig a little deeper into these tiny things I keep you all these little tiny things, huh? Hear that? Tiny things! What's this? By the shape, I, uh, I assume it's a Ghirardelli's? Show is! Oh, okay. Milk chocolate with caramel Ghirardelli. Hmm, am I saying that right? Probably not. You know, it's just my thing, huh? But, um, I don't like chocolate. I, you know, I said it earlier. But you throw a little caramel but into some chocolate, that's all it takes, man. Just give it a little something-something, man. Just straight-up chocolate. Mm. All right, come on, come on. Let's see. Ooh, did you see that? Give a little, it gave a little peel off, huh? Like you see in those, uh... Pizza commercials with the cheese, huh? It said like, mm -hmm. that's delightful. Nice little thin layer in this chocolate. Now these, uh, if you had these, you know, in a pocket and they melted, chaos, huh? Probably a really bad time. 
But when they're perfectly like in their intended square and shit, oh my goodness. Ooh. <laughs> That's a pretty good chocolate too. Hmm? Another one that I think even I would have this regular chocolate over Hershey's. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hershey's, you're played out, fam. Get that regular shit out of here. Yeah, you know, for such decadence, huh? That's above gingerbread Kit Kats, huh? That's too simple. That's nothing like, these are the fancy treats, huh? These are in your rich boy stockings, huh? Oh, hey, over on Wall Street. Bada boo. Where's my coffee? Alrighty, alrighty. I hope there's some more of those, man. Ghirardelli's kind of kick ass, huh? That's pretty cool. Let's see, what the, f what the fuck is this? What the fuck? Hey! Hey! Where's the wise guy that put a lump of coal in my stocking, huh? In Santa Chungus' stocking? How dare you? You think this is funny? Oh. It's like a little igloo, dude. And it's chocolate. It's like they knew. They knew it would upset me. Mm. Well, you know. Uh, lump of coal in my stocking. Mm. Oh shit! It's a crunch bar. Mm, I was uh, working my way through the chocolate. I found some little crunchy delights. Mm, okay, cold's not so bad now, is it? Oh shit! Hmm. Hmm. Hey, you know I like crunch bar, no? Huh? Okay, that makes it. Okay, I forgive you. Whoever put that, whoever did, oh, you jokester, you old goose, huh? Oh. Oh, 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 you're on the, you're back on the hot ice list, huh? Okay. Better than regular Lindar. Yep. It's just chocolate in there. Boring. Cringe. Crunch it up, man. All right. Man, this thing is getting lighter and lighter, and it's making my heart heavy, huh? How ironic. Ooh. I feel a ball, huh? Just one, you naughty dogs, you. Let's see, another Lindor, huh? I think it's a white chocolate delight of some sort, huh? A white chocolate that just might. Oh, it's not white chocolate. <laughs> that is a milk chocolate. Maybe there's white chocolate in the center? I mean, look at the coat, look at the like wrapper, right? It's like snowmen and stuff. There's a little nipple on it and a little butthole. Cool. Well, let's see. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. White chocolate in the center, okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously it's better than chocolate chocolate, right? Mmm. It has a creamy, delicious filling. Oh, yeah, dude. This is just a creamy filling. It, it's missing the delicious part, right? To think it was that simple. But, you know, they tried. Mmm. Is it good enough to go above a lump of coal? Hmm. <laughs> Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. This is this will be a big upsetter if I didn't, right? But I'm not doing this for you, huh? I'm doing it for me, and luckily for you, it's pretty good. Huh? <laughs> it's pretty good. It's gonna come right below milk chocolate uh, with caramel. Give her deli, huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. It's better than a Kit Kat. Somebody, the, 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 the innards are good, huh? Hmm. You know, you learn things, huh? You learn out here. A little bit of white chocolate goes a long way. All right. All right, let's keep on trucking. Let's just keep on trucking through. Yeah, let's go with another fancy one. I'm, I got a good good sense of touch out here. And I'm touching on a Ghirardelli. I just know it. Ooh, did you see that? Can you see that right now? Yeah, you're not reading incorrect. We got another gingerbread out here. A Ghirardelli. Milk chocolate with gingerbread cookie? What? I, what? How fancy. Wow. Are they like, oh, yep. Yeah, if you see on the bottom, it's like a crunch bar there going on. Bunch of little gingerbread clusters, huh? Little ginger nuts. Oh, yeah, dude. It's like permeating through the chocolate. The chocolate almost feels like a gingerbread chocolate. And then these these clusters. Let's see here. I'm trying to separate. Hmm. Yeah, they got a nice little crunch to them. I mean, and yeah, they're gingerbreads. I mean, what can I say? If you're a fan of gingerbread cookies, put some in your chocolate, right? 
and then fucking stamp it in a square. Who'd have thought, man? Kit Kat? Idiots. Huh? They thought, oh, we're going to put it over our layers. <laughs> Don't you know? Ghirardelli's nose, man. Better than caramel? Yeah. Better than caramel. Better than caramel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me my coffee. Wow, man. Yeah, I didn't expect to be ranking chocolates so high today, but it's just, man. This time of year just gets me all, all weird. All, all funny. Like I'm floating on Earth. We got a Hershey's Kiss. Hot cocoa flavor, dude. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like hot cocoa, right? But not really. I barely like mocha coffee <laughs> because chocolate, right? But I'll drink a hot cocoa from if the timing is right, if I'm in a cabin setting or something, huh? So I wonder if that just means that it's like a, a, a lighter chocolate flavor or is there something in the inside? I'm going to bite into it first. I'm not going to just full mouth it. Huh? Oh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. There's like marshmallow on the inside. I think that's what makes it the hot cocoa. Mmm. Now, I will say this. I just realized that I crumpled up my representation for it on the board. <laughs> but I'll, 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 I'll handle that. What I do know is that this white chocolate or whatever is the inside of this is not as good as the Lindor's was. No, no. So, that's going to cost us some points here. It's pretty good, though. It's pretty good. Um, If you'll just give me a second, I'm going to show you how good it is. Just hold on. I would say that it, eh, I don't know, man. I mean, yeah, I guess it's kind of like, tis, like it, it is kind of seasonal, kind of, but it's just hot chocolate. I mean, like, you can have that just camping in autumn. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be holiday seasons. So I think gingerbread matches a little bit better. I'm going to put it below it on that merit, huh? Better stocking stuffer. And ah, ah, below coal. Because coal, that's kind of cute, huh? That was cute. I liked that. I've come back around on that. Better than, better than a Lindor double chocolate. Yeah, that's for sure. Gotta, gotta, gotta have that white chocolate, huh? Now, we've got more, huh? We're still not done. We're almost there. We're almost through my treats. My stocking's almost out. Got another ball. What's that all about? <laughs> Snickerdoodle? Ooh, a Lindor Snickerdoodle? I love Snickerdoodle. What the hell does that even mean? Is there cookie on the inside? Is there just a cookie ball on the inside of this bad boy? Oh! It's actually white chocolate, bro. Are you kidding me? They actually went and did it? And like, if you, I don't know if you can notice this, but there's like little, little itty, itty bitty bits and pieces all through it, huh? Look at that. Is there something in the center too? This thing is just, what the fuck is going on? Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, it's filled with white chocolate, too. Hmm. Mm, with the cookie crunches in it, dude. What the hell? Oh, and it's not just, like, straight-up white chocolate. It's like a cinnamony white chocolate. Oh, my God, dude, what? Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Holy crap. That just put the gingerbread cookie Ghirardelli's to shame, bro. Mmm. Yeah, holy shit, you know what? Whoa, this is uh, this is shaking me to my core right now. I was not expecting this, not even a sl sliver, huh? This is the next closest to Terry's, huh? Right below Terry's, because Terry's is still something, it's other or otherworldly, right? But that, that is like, that just came to planet Earth, right? What the hell? Holy smoke, this is still, it's still from a different, you know. <laughs> what a pleasant surprise, dude, holy shit. I need to get my mind off of it. Oh, man, I want to finish it. No. No. Later, 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 later. What is this one that's been making all this noise? Oh. Oh. It's a little mini cane. So, uh, I'm sure you're wondering. Chongus? That's two peppermint cane. What are you doing, jackass? Slow down, all right? Now, uh, I told you all about the textures and consistencies and fun crunches of these ones for a reason. Because these, I mean, these are just straight up candy canes still, man. But they're like all shrunk down so you can literally have a bite-sized candy cane, huh? 
break it into smaller pieces, of course, but still bite size. Mmm. Mmm. I gotta put some back, sorry. Okay. <laughs> like it never happened, huh? I got a little uh, overzealous. <laughs> Oops. But it's fine, it's fine. Um, bite size candy cane. You all saw how I felt last episode. If you haven't, I think I said it earlier. Well, I'll say it again. Go back. If you've gone too far, go back. Huh? Because. Pepper candy canes, too. Now, what I didn't talk about, really, with candy canes, is that they get stuck in your teeth big time. Hmm? They turn into, like, an extra hard gum, almost. <laughs> and they'll dissolve out of your teeth eventually, right? But it takes some work. Okay. So that's where... This isn't going to be as good as these awesome peppermint sweet striped sticks. And in fact, in fact, I'd rather have Andy's than these mini peppermints. So it's still better than, in, ah, in fact, another in fact, I'd rather have those gingerbread Ghirardelli's than I would a peppermint, a little mini peppermint cane. So, you know, this, that's a big difference, I think, honestly. Do with it what you will. Okay, magical stocking. What do you have for me this time? Oh, I feel a familiar friend. Huh? Let's get him out of there. I think this is the last one I could feel in there, so better be a good one. Ghirardelli's peppermint bark. Now this one goes way back, huh? I remember. I remember this flavor. This one's been around the block for sure. These are these well, milk chocolate caramel dub, but this gingerbread one for sure. That was a, that was a little left fielder, huh? But. I haven't had this in so long. I love peppermint, too, so it's surprising that I haven't. Like, am I that against chocolate? I, I, I should really, like, chill with that, right? Look how thin the layer of chocolate is on this. Why wouldn't I like this? It looks like, too, like there's little candy cane bits in it as well. I don't think there are, but if there are, I'll take it. Mmm, that was a great crunch. Mmm. <laughs> Yeah, dude, there are little uh, peppermint bits in it, I think. They're just so tiny. <laughs> okay. Mmm. Yeah, I think it really works with the, uh... It really works with the chocolate, too. I think if you didn't have the chocolate, it might be too much. Like, you would, like... You wouldn't even want to eat the whole square unless you were real diehard like me. But that chocolate actually, like, balances out really well. I like that. Oh, Ghirardelli. Oh, Geary. You old deli, you. Where am I gonna? Mm, let's give this up a bit. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'd rather have the peppermint bark above the gingerbread cookie. Huh? I'm not that big a fan of ginger, to be fair, but it was really good. You know, I, I try not to hate. No, I try. Okie dokie, huh? Look at this. This is all like, hang on. I'm making room the wrong direction, huh? Let's, let's do a little. There we go. This is, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Yeah, you can stay up at the top there, orange friend. Now, where were we? Oh, yeah, that's right. We were just about to have a half dollar? Oh, I guess you guys are donating to the show. Well, I appreciate the donations. Thank you. Keep those coming in. Roll them in. Roll them in. But, but you know, I can't just be, you know, taking donations willy-nilly, you guys. You gotta, like... Time and a place, huh? Oh, yeah. Oh, very funny, Chungus. You're so funny. Um, I'll stop teasing. It is a chocolate coin. Huh? Half dollar. And it's got the, like, you know, coin shit printed on it. It's pretty fancy. The head is looking a little sus right now. That doesn't look good. But, you know, uh, I'm going to try. I'm going to try. I'm pretty sure it's just milk chocolate with nothing about it. Interesting. It's kind of fun, because it does come in a little satchel of coins. It does come, like, yeah, in that little, that, the little satchel's fun. You get a bunch of, like, shiny gold coin-looking things. You know, you feel like you're rich for the, for the morning when you eat all your chocolate and feel like an idiot. Right? Oh, my money's all gone! It's fun for kids, but all in all, not a very good stocking stuffer. I think they're going to be more disappointed than if they saw a bunch of coal in their stocking. Because you know? at least those have crunch in them. Yeah, I said it again. Last place, huh? <laughs> yep. Double chocolate's better than that. At least it has some, some kind of fun, silky chocolate to it. Huh? Ooh. Something's giving me a little, a little kisses on my fingertips in there. 
the hell? Oh, that makes sense, yeah. It's another kiss. Which one is this? Mint truffle flavor. Actually, before I even mint, before I even truffle down on these mints, let me, I, I think I forgot to. Okay. Now these ones, these ones have been around for a while too. Huh? These have been around the block as well. And um, I know that these have a little creamy filling to them, so we'll get a little money shot for you. Huh? I want you guys to see. It's supposed to be green. And yep, yeah, mm-hmm. It's got a little green inside. Hmm. I mean, you know, actually, it tastes. A I mean, I. It might just be the color making my brain go to that. You know, do all the work for the candy here. But uh, it's a lot like mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm-hmm. But you know, minus the cold ice cream, obviously, and all the dairy. Well, there's dairy. In my, whatever. What you get? What I'm saying, right? It's a lot like mint chocolate chip ice cream. And so yeah, like probably if you popping if you popping these in your mouth, that's probably that's a pretty good treat. It works a lot better than what was hot cocoa does for sure. Hot cocoa was just uh, this is at least interesting and it does feel more I don't know how, I don't know why, but it feels more holiday centered, huh? Hmm. <clears throat> But with all that said, I'm not, you know, I can't rank it anything too crazy because it's not that amazing. Let's be real. Hmm. Yeah, I'll rank it above Lump of Coal. No, above Gingerbread Kit Kat. Okay. Fine, fine. But it's not better than fucking White Chocolate Lindor's. Give me a break. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, the only things left are, uh, Really small, huh? So I'll try and give them a little juggle here. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, well, looks like we have another kiss, huh? Candy cane. And um, yeah, I know these ones all too well, huh? I feel like the la every year for the last probably three years, I've gotten a little like fucking huge mega pound bag that's like, you know, way too many. And then I eat them until I'm so sick of them that I don't eat the rest of them and end up throwing them away mid-March. Huh? That's how good these are. I already know about them. So I can explain them to you, huh? It's like a white chocolate with a little swirl of, of mint flavor. A similar mint to, I think, is in the uh, mint truffle one. But on top of that, it has tiny little clusters of uh, peppermints in it, like the peppermint bark Ghirardelli's did. So it's just like... it's. Little... It is the epitome of kisses. The only thing better, Hershey kisses wise, is fucking kissables. Yeah, you thought I forgot? Bring back kissables, man. Y'all want me to stop hating on you, Hershey's? Bring back kissables. What are you even doing? But I digress. Let's get this over with, huh? I like to break these ones out as flat as I can so I can extract all the damn peppermint bits out of it. Little by little. It's delicious! Mm-hmm, it's so good, you guys. It is wacky. Oh, man, they're reeling me back. I really don't want to go out and buy another huge mega bag and have them until March, but... It's so good. It's really good. Oh. Mm, I wonder, man. Mm. Yeah, I know. Okay. It's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. I'm not going to rank these above those new Snickerdoodle. Lindors. Those are, oh, wow. That was really crazy. With these, those are a strong contender, all right? Those are some fantastic stocking stuffer right there, huh? Because you, even if you be a small, get a small bag, huh? That's like a big handful you can stuff down in one of these, dude. Look how much space I got here, right? Imagine the possibilities. All right, let's see, huh? Oh, shit. Okay. We have a, uh, you're not going to be able to read it here, but this is a Dove chocolate. And um, not just any, huh? It's seasonal, all right. Special, special made to be stuffed into stockings. It is white chocolate pumpkin pie flavor, huh? White chocolate pumpkin pie, ch what? Now, is it like, is there like just pumpkin flavor in it? And it's just going to be white chocolate with pumpkin flavor? Are there pumpkin chunks? Am I getting some pumpkin seeds mixed in there or something? Like, now that I'm looking at it, dude, there's some kind of clusters going on in here. 
It's not just straight up white chocolate. There's something going on in there. Huh? Well, let's find out. Huh? Hmm. Oh, yeah. It's like little, little pumpkin cookies scattered around in the white chocolate. Hmm. I guess that's a new style that everyone's doing. Throwing little cookie bits into their chocolates. And you know what? I am so, so fucking behind it, dude. Because all of them are kicking mega ass. Wow. Like, if you just think about it, without ranking this, that's one, two, three, four. Four things that are in the top, the tippy tops coming out that have little cookie bits in them. And you know what? Yeah. I'm going to make it five. It's not as good as Ghirardelli's peppermint bark, but it's better than the gingerbread cookie. I think the pumpkin works better with that white chocolate than the, than the, than the damn ginger did with a bit. Ginger, whatever, man. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yes. I'm loving it, dude. Every chocolate company out there, you get the chungus seal of approval for throwing cookies in your chocolate, dude. Keep it up. I want more. Every cookie. Where's my white chip macadamias, huh? Yeah, you didn't think about that. I hear you. I hear you out there, you know, calling your execs. Damn it. Well, there's only one left, huh? Damn. Seems like every time we start to have some fun out here, it's got to come to an end. But at least we're ending... On a happy note. I, I just, I know it's going to be. You know why? Because it's our boy Andy, huh? He's back. He's back. And this time, he has some peppermint instead of just whatever mint that he uses usually. Huh? Green mint. Toothpaste mint. Huh? Peppermint. And you know what? I think, look at that, yeah. Not milk chocolate as well. It's white chocolate. So, interest, this is interesting in a couple ways, actually, because also... In the, in the regular Andes, the center is is got a green stripe through it. Like it's not like one green stripe, one brown stripe, right? But this is like one v one out here, red versus white. And oh my goodness, it's looking like there's little bits in it. More little bits. Oh, little bits. Hmm. Hmm. I must ponder. I must focus. There are little bits in it, mm -hmm. for sure, but not as big of bits as were in the Hershey Kisses, and not as crunchy bits as was in Peppermint Bark, your deli, huh? So, with that in mind, I'm going to rank it similarly high, right? Duh. But, in case I didn't give it away just now, it's going to come right below Peppermint Bark, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. What do you want to stock your stuffing with? Well, I suggest going from, you know, the top of this list down because all oh, this shit'll do. But man, oh, this shit is true blue. Oh, I'm drooling. Let's cleanse and let's rank. I got some snacking to do, huh? Some off camera snacking. S rank. Yes. Sizzling, suffering, succotash. Who gets S, huh? Shit. I am going to give it to Terry's. Obviously, Terry's was going to get it. And that, that doesn't surprise me. Snickerdoodle Lindor. Hell yes, dude. I'm actually going to hunt down another bag of those before the season's out because I don't know if they're going to be year-round and those are something else. Get those. For, if you get anything, get those. Uh, candy cane. Kisses. Uh, and Puppy Dog Wishes. Those are going to be your S's. I almost wanted to put Peppermint Sticks up there. Ugh, but I feel like it's not It's not that good. Huh? It's not good enough for S. But it will start off the A. Uh, so that starts with Peppermint Sticks from Bob. Huh? Andy's Regular. Peppermint Bark Ghirardellis. Andy's Peppermint. And... Yeah, you know what? It was good enough. It just scraped in. That white chocolate pumpkin pie dove is going to be the bottom of eight. That's going to be that. Yep. 
It barely made it in, but it did it. It did it. Very nice. I'm impressed. And, uh, bruh, you know, we got to start off the other. It's Doppelganger, the shittier version. Ghirardelli Gingerbread, huh? That'll start B. Then, you know, mini canes. You got to love your, your candy canes, right? They get stuck in your teeth. What a bunch of fun, huh? That's a bunch of fun. Milk chocolate with caramel Ghirardellis. I'd probably be getting attacked on a daily basis if I put that anywhere else. So there it falls, huh? Lindor, white chocolate. Yep. And um, mm, 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 that's where it's going to end. That's going to be your Bs. Because Cs are what these crappy boys are, huh? Like Cole and Kit Kat, right? They spell that with a C, don't they? Um, yeah, you know, it's just, it's, I can eat them. I'll probably have a couple if I'm, like, at a, like, get-together or something, but pff, I'm not going to be like, oh, what flavor is that? I want to go get some of those myself. No way, bro, no way. That falls to mint truffle kisses, Kit Kat gingerbread, uh, coal, which is just a crunch bar, let's be real, and then hot cocoa kisses? <sniffs> Meh. 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 And, you know, I'm not fiery. It's another one of those anti-fiery Fs. Uh, I'm not flaming hot out here. But it is an F tier, dude. Like, I don't want it. I don't want double chocolate. I don't want a hard chocolate layer around soft chocolate. It's too, it's too much, dude. And chocolate coins. So anyway, now that this is over with, huh? Go out there and stock up and start stuffing some stockings today, huh? Make sure you get a big one. So you can fill it nice and full, and then everyone else can also throw shit into it, huh? And you can have the best stocking there ever was. Especially if they're filled with damn Terry's balls. God damn, them orange balls are the shit. Do me a favor, huh? Like this video. Just hit that like real quick, and then um, fast, fast. Go ahead and click that subscribe button. Click the subscribe button. And then um, if you want, hit that bell button, but only cool kids do that, so you don't have to do it if you don't want to be like cool. That's whatever. That's on you. I'm not going to like, yeah. But also, we have a lot of stuff on TikTok, huh? If you like this, you'll like, uh, I, I do a thing called snack battles over there, huh? It's just short snack wars, like way shorter, like less than three minutes every time, huh? TikTok, check it out. And it's not just me. We got other people posting stuff, huh? We got other shows to check out. You know, you want a more real legit meal? Go check out Black Man Cook too, huh? You want to talk some shit with the boys? It's called Shit Talk. Was it not obvious, huh? Get on out here and, and celebrate with us. Subscribe so you don't miss it because we love you, huh? We love you. We love you. Oh, kisses. Oh, kisses. We love you out there. We love you. And we want to see you come back, huh? So do it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.